and welcome back class second students we have chapter number 2 that is questions and statements so let's start okay so let's read starter choose the correct question word and fill in the blanks you can see we have given a box in which lots of words written here and we have given some question with some blanks and we have to fill it appropriately okay so let's do on the first we have given blank is at the door because it's in the question form so we will write who is at the door next we have blank bag is this whose bag is this how do you ask whose bag is this on the third on the third dash time does your bus arrive so at what time the answer will be what time does your bus arrive okay on the next dash can i solve this puzzle so the answer how will you ask me of course like that how can i solve this puzzle okay on the fifth dash, are you coming to my house we will write as when are you coming to my house okay successfully we have completed it now it's time to do part a read the following sentences so students you have to read all these sentences now let's go further so students we have given part a that is read the following sentences so without wasting time let's read is your name my name is puneet what are you doing I am reading a book and what you will say I am studying English grammar. Okay, on the next what is this? This is a scenery. Next, who made this? My brother made this. Where is your brother? He is in the bathroom and you guys are in classroom. Okay. Let's read what's written here. In the above sentences 1 3 1 3 5 7 and 9 ask a question there is a question mark at the end of such sentences such sentences are called questions sentences 2 4 6 8 and 10 say something there is a full stop at the end of such sentences such sentences are called statements So students, जिन सेंटेंसेस के एंड में क्वेश्चन मार्क लग रहे होते हैं वो क्वेश्चन फॉर्म में होते हैं हम उन्हें क्वेश्चन स्टेट उन्हें हम क्या कहते हैं क्वेश्चन कहते हैं और जिन सेंटेंसेस के एंड में फुल स्टॉप लगे होते हैं उन्हें हम क्या कहते हैं स्टेटमेंट्स ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स एवरी सेंटेंस बिगिन विद अ कैपिटल लेटर एंड यू ऑलरेडी न्यू वॉट इज कैपिटल लेटर एंड हाउ इट विल बी रिटर्न ओके नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट से समथिंग Question ask about something. Statements ends with a full stop. Question end with a question mark. And you well know that what's the difference between full stop and what is question mark. Okay, students, it's time to learn something new. Did you know question sentences are also called interrogative sentences? Okay, moving down we have part B. Take the correct option. so we have given questions including options and what we have to do we have to simply tick the correct answer okay number 1 ask shine at night do you think it's a question or a statement of course it's a statement because it's also not ending with question mark okay on the next raju and ritika are siblings it's again a statement on the third what is the color of ball Now it's a interesting question and now you can see it is ending with a question mark so it's a question Now let's do fourth My mother is drinking milk and you should also drink milk and you should also drink milk So let's do that it's a statement or question yes you are right it's a statement Okay on the fifth where are the apples It's a statement or a question. What do you think? Yes, it's a question. On the sixth, who made these muffins? Do you know how to make muffins? You should know. Learn it. Okay, so so where we will take at the option B question. 
So students, on the seventh we have given, I will visit him tomorrow. It's a statement, so we will take a statement. Next, you guys are very intelligent. I am enjoying this class with you. Okay, let's do part eight. The boys are climbing up the hill, and it's a statement. On ninth, he often eats while watching TV, but you should not do that. You should just focus on eating. Okay. Let's do the answer. It's a statement. On 10th, Amar is 7 years old. And it's again a statement. Moving down, it's time to do part C. Put a full stop or a question mark at the end of following sentences. We have already done this kind of question. So, I think this might be easy one for you. Okay, let's do the first one. The first we have given, she is my sister. What we will put? Full stop because it's not a question statement. Next we have, it's not a question sentence. Next we have, what is that? And this is a question. So, we will put question mark. Next, we are Indians. Say it proudly. We are Indians. Yes, we will put full stop. Next, where are the boys? Okay, so if boys will be absent in the class, what would I ask to girls? Yes, that question I'll ask, where are the boys? And what you have to do, you have to simply put a question mark. On 5th, my birthday falls on 17th February. So my birthday falls on 4th of May. What about you? For now, you have to just simply put full stop. Okay, on the 6th, when do we celebrate Diwali? We will put question mark here. Okay, if I ask you about your best friend that who is your best friend? What do you say? So name because everybody has their best friend. So for now, who is your best friend? You will put question mark. Now eighth, Ankit will arrive here tomorrow. So we will put full stop. Next, I am doing my homework. And students, you all have to do that oral question. I am giving you a homework. So, what you will say if your mom will ask in your home that I am doing my homework and put full stop. Next, how long is the rope? And don't forget to put question mark to make it a successful question statement. Okay, concluding this chapter, we have some interesting activity to do. So, let's do now. So, let's read. Walk in groups of five. Create ten riddles using the question word. Ask the other groups to solve the riddles. Okay, example one we have given. The first one we have given as an example. What is the end of the rainbow? Answer W. How easy it is now. So, students, the activity you have to do by yourself. Hey, friends, it's time to say bye-bye to you all. I will meet you in the next lecture. Until then, don't forget to revise and enjoy. Have so much fun. Thank you very much.